Okay, made some progress here. Um, got the uh, top welded on here, all positioned, and uh, the big moment of truth, all the geometry worked out just fine. Uh, so real happy that happened. Uh, didn't have to really adjust anything, got that uh, all lined up and and uh, welded on, and it worked out perfectly. So unfortunately I didn't uh, take any video of that, but you'll see it when I put this all together. So I uh, took him outside, gave him a quick sandblast, and I'm just getting uh, getting ready to throw some paint on here, string him up on the, on the hoist and get some primer on. And uh, I think I'll get the buckets and grading beam all cleaned up and ready for some paint too. I'll slap some paint on those too, make them pretty looking. So, uh, that's it for right now. I'll uh, catch you later when I got a little more done. Okay, just finished spraying paint. Use the uh, Sherwin-Williams, what's it called, Surechem uh, paint again. Had it left over, had some gray left over from doing the, uh, the PC200 last year. So that's turned out well. I got pieces way up there hanging from the ceiling. Move them up there out of the way. That's the twisters, of course. Everything turned out pretty good. Sprayed fairly easily. Took longer to clean up than it did to paint. It's just two liters. So, uh, got her all together. No, not even two liters, two half liters, so one liter of paint. Cylinders here, thumb and the twist wrist, all my little bits and pieces. Everything's all shiny now, that's great. So at least it'll be shiny for a day or two until you actually start using it. So I think I will let this stuff dry overnight. No, I don't think. For sure I'm gonna let it dry overnight. The question is whether I'll let it dry for an extra day curing before I start final assembly. Unfortunately, patience is not my strong suit, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be all assembled tomorrow. So after that, we'll jump on to running the hydraulic tubing here. I built myself a little tubing bender. This is it here. A little uh, attaches to my hydra hydraulic press. Hopefully that'll work. Made a couple different size dies for the couple different size tubing that I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, I got some components, some valves and whatnot, fittings. So we'll start uh, figuring out how we're gonna do that on this thing. Okay, that's got her done and assembled. Turned out pretty good, pretty happy with that. Gave it a little test just with some air. It uh, works just fine. So, now I'll uh, get that out of the way. The paint is still definitely very soft, so I gotta let that cure for a couple days. So now we're on to uh, doing the piping on this thing here, hydraulic tubing. So uh, last night I whacked out some brackets there. So we'll get those uh, mounted up and uh, got a bunch of tubing here. We'll start hacking that apart and welding fittings. All right, got a little bit of work done here today. So I got my tubing all cut and bent. Fittings welded on. Here's the other two there. Got them all brushed out, cleaned out, swabbed out, and ready for paint. So that all worked out really well. Really happy with my little tubing bender that I made. It worked surprisingly well. This is it here. So uh, yeah, use that to put the bends in there. Worked real nice. And all my pieces, uh, my holes were a little bit off center so I had to fix those up a little bit. Uh, but other than that, we'll, uh, we'll uh, let's see, we're not gonna get them mounted tomorrow because I'm gonna get them painted tomorrow so they'll need all day to dry. This is the uh, diverter valve. So this is gonna go uh, on the uh, what do you call it, the offset swing cylinder, I guess, that circuit. It's got a pedal on the floor, uh, which actuates it. That's that one, of course. So I'm going to uh, tap into the hydraulics for that and use the solenoid diverter. And uh, that will make the pedal run uh, either the thumb, 
the thumb that's going to be on there or the twist wrist. Boy, everything I have is way up in the air. Or the twist wrist, way up there. Uh, depending on what's attached. And I think I'm just going to do like uh, quick connects on the thumb. And when I throw this thing on, I'll just flip it over to, uh, to the twist wrist. Because it'll be very seldom when we're running the twist wrist and the thumb at the same time. So I think that's going to work out okay. So that'll be the project for tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll work on trying to mount that in there somehow. And run the electrical for that. Find somewhere to put a little switch in the cab. And, uh, and then I can measure up for the, for the hydraulic hoses and uh, hopefully get this all hooked up. Boy, we're actually getting close to being functional. It's been a lot of time working on this, a little bit at a time, a few hours at a time. But we're getting close, so that's good. All right, uh, time to color a day. I gotta change some tires on the wife's car. Okay. So we got all the uh, tubing painted up and I've got it installed, uh, that's the hard piping. And I'm just waiting for all the rubber hydraulic hoses. That all uh, installed very nicely. I got a little bit more I got to do here yet, clean that up. But uh, it's all looking pretty good with the exception of one spot here. I didn't notice how close this cylinder got right here with this pipe. So it's not going to be able to fit in the bracket. I'm going to have to bend that out and position it slightly differently so I'll have to come up with something for that but uh, other than that the valve is all installed and like I said just waiting for the fittings and hoses to come in hopefully they'll be in here today and we'll be able to get this thing up and running that would be pretty exciting getting close